Catch RCN Sports Talk now, anywhere, anytime. What will you be watching? What excites you the most to watch? As an insider and knowing what goes on behind the scenes, what do you like to watch? I like track. Mm -hmm. the, obviously, I like track a little bit. Yeah. I also like swimming. I think that that's cool. Like, I remember, I think it was like 2008 when they had that finish touch and United States oh, yeah. wasn't supposed to win. I was like screaming that. <laughs> that was yeah. a great moment. So, And uh, for me, I, I like watching the gymnastics and swimming as well. And uh, I tell people, I'm going back to my camps as well, we're not trying to make you to be Olympians. We want you to be the champions of your life. So when I'm looking at these uh, Olympic Games, I see champions in all the different events that we're watching. And, you know, we're cheering for Team USA all the way. <laughs> yeah, you? definitely cheering for Team USA all, all the way. I like track and field. I like all track and field events, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the, uh, you know, the body in motion. And, you know, watching a world-class sprinter or runner compete is just something that's pretty phenomenal. And then I also, you know, I you know, obviously like cycling as well, swimming. But, you know, anything with Team USA and, and what we mentioned, just memorable finishes, good battles, good fights, you know, mm -hmm. uh, great wrestling matches. I mean, anything. It could be everything from archery to volleyball. As long as it's Team USA competing, you know, I, I'm, I'm cheering for them. Now, you both were in 96 and 2000. Yes. Uh, the same Olympics at the same time. One, of course, was in Atlanta. Was it extra special to have that in the United States? Well, it was extra special. I didn't do extra well. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, from that point of view, of view, but the thing about the Atlanta Games was that it was in a city and we didn't have the village. Um, normally they have a village where we go and we all, all the athletes, all the countries are in that same space. So for me, it wasn't that special and that I didn't perform up to my abilities. And um, and there was some other things that happened with the bombing and things like that yeah. that kind of put a damping on it. But for you... <laughs> yeah, well, I was, you know, you know, won a medal in, in Atlanta, won a silver medal. But with it being in the United States, there's also a lot of pressure, you know. Mm. And, uh, you know, that's one thing I will say. I won in that games, you know, I was world champion twice already, and I was only 20 maybe three or four years old. And so there's a lot of pressure and there's a lot of people expecting you to win. And you wanted to win yourself. And you had family and friends there and sponsors there and everything else. So there was pressure, but it was also very, very special to have your friends and family there as well. So it was, uh, to me, Atlanta was a great game. I really enjoyed the experience. Uh, and it really set the tone for the rest of my career because losing that gold in Atlanta was really made me into just a completely different athlete.